Bongo is happy to inform you that we have created a new return module that can be accessed by our merchant partners through their order portal. This return module will allow our partners to handle all returns through their account directly, saving time and organizing returns into one easy to control area. The merchant must add return addresses in the return center section of their partner portal. The merchant will then locate the order that they would like to coordinate the return for in the delivered section of their order portal. The merchant will then click on the return button to begin coordinating the return. Then they will dictate which items they would like to coordinate the return for. The merchant will also dictate which costs, aside from product costs, if any, that they would like to refund the customer for. The customer will be refunded once the return has been received by the merchant and the return has been approved. The merchant selects the return center address from the drop down menu of the return module. The merchant will then select the return type. If choosing Charge the Merchant, Bongo's customer service department will generate a return airway bill and forward it to the end user or the merchant along with a copy of the return commercial invoice. The merchant is charged for the return costs of that return airway bill. The merchant can view the return costs here. If choosing Commercial Invoice Only, an email with the return commercial invoice is sent directly to the end user or the merchant. No cost to the merchant as no return airway bill was generated by Bongo. The merchant can decide if they would like the return documentation sent to the end user, to the merchant, or to both. Please note, if the merchant would like the return documentation emailed to themselves, they will need to log into their order portal using the email address that they would like to have the return documentation emailed to. Once the return has been physically received by the merchant, they must go to the return section of their order portal. They should then locate the return request for the return received at their warehouse. They can then decide if they would like to decline or approve the refund for the return. If the refund is approved, the customer will be refunded for the applicable costs.